Bitcoins. Today is Tuesday, September 16th, 2014 at 5.21 p.m. in Madagascar. Madagascar? M is for mad. B is for bitcoins. Cinnamon toasty. Mad. Bitcoins. Your ad or donation could be here. Donate now or sponsor the show at madbitcoins.com for as little as $25 a show. Here are today's mad bits. Bitcoin prices are down slightly with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 466, a high of 472, and a low of 465. Litecoin is at $5.03 a coin. IBM to promote blockchain and BitTorrent and a private messaging protocol to make all your appliances talk to each other. Hey, that actually sounds pretty cool. Until they become Skynet. Andreas Antonopoulos joins e-commerce company Coin Simple. Just how many jobs does this guy have now, really? Congratulations to Andreas and best of luck to Coin Simple. Why hire the rest when you can hire the best? Out of the spotlight, Bitcoin gains legitimacy. Bitcoin interest may have peaked with the price in January, but the march toward total Bitcoin adoption continues. Even Wired Magazine can see it now. Wired Magazine? Is that still a thing? Being wired? Bangladesh Central Bank. Cryptocurrency use is a punishable offense. Apparently they only banned it after the Bitcoin Foundation opened a chapter there. Perhaps this is a new thing. Could Bitcoin become Scotland's official currency? Yes. Yes and yes. And Scotland. I like the sound of that. Like its own country again. <laughs> Assange. Bitcoin and WikiLeaks helped keep each other alive. Yet another feather then in Bitcoin's cap. And what a different world if the Google CEO could have seen what Assange had seen. There's still time. Could Google mine Bitcoin to keep it decentralized? Could Google install Bitcoin miners in its data centers near hydroelectric dams around the world and provide cheap power, cooling, and maybe even distributed DNS services through Namecoin? Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins. As we live a life of ease, every one of us has all we need. Sky of blue and sea of green.